Hi everyone, and welcome to the online video on mathematical reasoning, number patterns, determining unknowns. Today we're going to be looking at determining unknowns questions in the number patterns classification of category 4, patterns and algebra. Let's start off by reading a short description of what determining unknowns questions entail. So, Determining unknowns questions in number patterns requires comprehensive knowledge and understanding of arithmetic operations. Students will need to read the information provided carefully, selecting appropriate and relevant details in order to deduce or solve the unknown. Students must have acute comprehension and interpretation skills. Now what does all of this mean? We can see here that the description has provided that we will need an understanding of arithmetic operations. It is also given that we will be using these arithmetic operations to solve an unknown. Now, given the category title, patterns in algebra, and the classification of these questions, number patterns, we can tell that the arithmetic operations and the unknowns that we're going to be solving will be done through a number pattern method. Now, what is a number pattern? The definition of a number pattern is a list of numbers that follow a certain sequence or pattern. So, an example of a number pattern would be the list of numbers 1, 3, 5, and 7. Looking at these numbers, we can tell that they follow a certain sequence, the sequence being that they are all increasing by 2. Now that we've established what a number pattern is, let's look at how we can use this concept to solve determining unknowns questions. The example question we will be looking at provides the following. John started eating a box of lollies on Monday and finished it on Sunday. The number of lollies he eats increases by 2 every day. If the box contained 182 lollies, how many did John eat on Thursday? A. 32 B. 30 C. 26 D. 24 or E. 22 Given this is a determining unknowns question, we will start by creating an equation using the information provided. So, let the number of lollies John ate on Monday be denoted as M. The question also provides that the number of lollies John eats increases by 2 every day, which means on Tuesday, John will be eating the number of lollies he ate on Monday plus 2. So we can use this information to create an equation for how many lollies John ate on Tuesday, which would be m plus 2. Following this same rule, we can find that the number of lollies John eats on Wednesday is therefore Tuesday plus 2. And we already have an equation for Tuesday in terms of m, which is m plus 2. Therefore, Wednesday would be m plus 2 plus 2 which is m plus 4. Once again, following this same pattern for Thursday, which would be Wednesday plus 2, since we know Wednesday is m plus 4, Thursday would therefore be m plus 4 plus 2, which is m plus 6. Now, returning back to the number patterns concept, we can create a series using this information. Since we know the number totals of each day in terms of m, we can create an equation that depicts this information as a sequence. If John ate the entire box of lollies from Monday to Sunday, that means that the number of lollies he ate each day totaled to 182. 
This information can be represented in the following equation. One hundred and eighty two lollies. Now, returning back to the working out we performed in blue, we can see that there is a number pattern emerging. Each day the number of lollies increases by two. Therefore, the equation we have in red can also be represented as M, which is the number of lollies eaten on Monday, plus the number of lollies eaten on Tuesday, which is M plus two, plus the number of lollies eaten on Wednesday, as given here, is m plus 4. Plus the number of lollies eaten on Thursday, which we have found to be m plus 6. Plus the number of lollies eaten on Friday. The number of lollies eaten on Friday must be m plus 6 plus 2, which gives us m plus 8. Now this will continue on for Saturday and Sunday. Therefore, the number of lollies John ate on Saturday will be the number of lollies eaten on Friday, which is M plus 8, plus 2, which is M plus 10. And then the number of lollies eaten on Sunday must be M plus 10 plus 2, which is M plus 12. These must total to 182 lollies. Looking at this equation, we can see that there is only a single letter that is the unknown, which is the letter M. We can bring all of these M's in common by summing them together. We can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 M's. So adding them all together, we get 7 M plus these values. 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 give us 182. This section equals 42. Therefore, 7m plus 42 equals 182 lollies. Therefore, 7m equals 182, we'll bring the 42 over to this side, minus 42, therefore 7m equals 140. Now dividing both sides by 7 to isolate m, we get m equals to 140 divided by 7, which equals to 20. Now that we have solved our unknown to find the number of lollies John ate on Monday, we can use this value and substitute it into the equation we found for the number of lollies John ate on Thursday. Since we have found a value for m, we can substitute it into this equation to find the number of lollies John ate on Thursday. John ate 20 plus 6 lollies on Thursday, which is 26. Therefore, the answer is C. Okay, now let's provide a quick recap of the steps we took to solve this question. First of all, we need to express our unknown in an equation. Then, we need to use a value that we already know, which for us was the 182 lollies, to express the unknown in terms of a sequence. The sequence being this. After we've found the sequence, we can solve the equation to find the unknown. Hopefully this lesson has taught you some tips and tricks and made you more confident in solving determining unknowns questions in the patterns and algebra category. Thank you for listening.